Welcome back friends, welcome to Norway. This is the Nordic nature. We are on a different journey this time, having a road trip in Norway, working remotely, living in a van. It's pretty nice. morning greeting friends it is Sunday I believe it's Sunday yes yeah. so we um, have spent the night right up on a, it's about a thousand meters height at, um, a few minutes after Yanglo one of the typical ski villages here in Norway ski resorts and um, this is a way more barren landscape again. And, uh, we saw the weather forecast yesterday, there would be snow coming, so it is snowing. But you know, we love it. It's um, living in this van, working on the road, as long as we can stay warm, we got coffee and food, and um, actually being able to charge without an inverter. I, I found this uh, typical 12 volt car phone charger on a Circle Case gas station in Sweden and it had it had uh, three outlets and one of them is 65 watts which actually is charging my MacBook Pro latest MacBook Pro and that was the price so we have found that we don't really need an inverter from 12 to 230 volts we can actually charge everything we have uh, from uh, phones uh, my iPad uh, our Max and all the camera batteries just on that little plug. So that's been uh, pretty nice. Okay, so we um, stopped here on top of the mountain. We found one of these uh, cozy traditional coffee shops. Um, so I think we'll just have some coffee and breakfast here. Snowing like crazy, so we're hoping that it's not covering the roads on the way down. But since the temperature is around uh, around zero and not too cold, they can do salting on the roads. So that keeps them pretty clean and uh, without too much slush in the road. Okay, parked, shield maiden is showering, I'll go in and uh, check out the menu, it is pretty fresh up here and snowy.
Greetings. It is uh, what day is it? Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has been a few hours of drive today, and um, I mean we had no clue where to go, no plan, and we actually basically we drove in the wrong direction, got lost in the tunnel, in a roundabout in the tunnel, we made a wrong turn, and uh, we ended up here. Anyway, yeah. So the drive down here was uh, beautiful. Uh, huge, powerful mountains between um, yeah between the mountains basically coming down from the mountain uh, you know into this valley beautiful place powerful strong Norwegian nature and as we come down here now we can see that finally the weather is lighting up and we got some sunshine coming through and uh, hitting the valley here uh, the shield maiden here she found a Viking valley I need to buy my axe I haven't uh, I haven't found my axe yet so I need a new one so we can survive in the wild and I can protect my woman and you know build my village and, and hunt and gather meat and um, yeah grow my community that's really the feeling I have like that wise woman in the village that people came to to ask for consulting. You know, in one of my past lives, we came sailing in here and in into the fjord. And we settled here with my family and uh, we made kids and uh, we grew a whole village. I recognize this. I recognize the chair in there and... Uh, why she laugh? She laughs at me. Yeah, those were the times. Alright, yeah, we found a place to park, I'm gonna stay here for tonight, just by the river, and uh, we are right in the middle of these two um, huge mountains here in this valley, and um, yeah, we're trying to, trying to charge for the parking here, but um, yeah, we're not paying for that, um, this one of these uh, typical parking companies in Norway trying to, uh, you know, claim spaces here and there, and Earn money on um, every single par car wanted to have freedom. I'm not supporting it. Um, instead, we're just hanging out here for for one night. Um, going to cook some food, and uh, tomorrow I think we're going to go back to the Viking village and have a look inside. And you know, I'm kind of attracted to uh, the history and um, and the lifestyle and uh, you know the the rawness and the power around uh, the Viking history, the Viking craftsmanship and the way of life you could say for this evening we're going to spend some time in the van we've got work to do and um, hopefully we we'll wake up to sun tomorrow because that's going to make these green valleys look way more brilliant and bright and beautiful
Well, good morning, uh, friends. So, we are on our Norway road trip. Uh, we are in Gudvangen, which is a huge valley uh, between two big mountains here. They have this Viking village. So we just um, slept here overnight, not in the village, but in our camper van. And today we enter this Viking village. We just want to see what this is about. And uh, maybe we get adopted by a, a Viking family and finally we can have our tribe and get away from society and uh, we can learn to hunt and fish and really get back to the source. And my shield maiden here, she's ready, she already, she's Norwegian. Yep. She's officially. A, officially a Norwegian now, so. Marvelous. So let's have a round and see what's going on in this village. Maybe we can catch a chicken, honey. Yeah. I'm making normally uh, such necklaces, not such this, from small rings. Mmm, cool. So, a tiny one. Nice. this is made from, from uh, a finding. So it's, it's a real, so that's... the bow I have myself. I do have a traditional Viking bow, handmade uh, in South of Norway, actually. Uh, so yeah, I just want to try and see how my aim is. We'll put it on a loom for weaving fabric. If you go to the Chieftain's Hall, there's a loom that has the, the warp put on it. We can see how it will look when we're finished. <laughs> it's relaxing. It no, was. No, it, you have to have patience, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I'm glad you found a place, you know. I remember many years ago in uh, in Norway, down south at my home area, I went to one of these Viking uh, events and I talked to uh, a father of two kids and he said, uh, you know, coming to these weekly Viking events each summer is the only time that my kids are not on their iPads or phones and actually walking around barefoot. And uh, it's kind of back to the roots and um, a more slow life peaceful, healthy, grounded, and um, really nice connections with different types of people. Sweetheart went to the van to do a coaching call. I'm walking around and I'm getting synchronized with super nice, interesting people. So I just visited uh, the blacksmith and uh, he was working hard. Um, very interesting guy with an interesting story and he's, what can we call it, the awakening process he have had. And uh, we got into some really deep metaphysical topics. So it's so interesting to see when we are traveling around this time and we are seeking solitude and we want to filter our reality from the common life and now we get synchronized with, uh, with um, deep thinking awake people uh, but you should also go and check his Instagram channel and, uh, and um, connect with him there he's doing some really nice um, handcraft as a blacksmith very interesting
Thank you.